Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. Being able to, you know, have you a part of my life as I be a part of yours is truly a blessing to me. You know, I feel like we all can live and learn and help and teach amongst each other. So that's truly a blessing to me. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so I know when so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and you towards a positive direction also if you um feel like the videos give you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one or friend please go ahead and do so um you know especially if it's the fellow empath they're going through some really trying times right now and trying to find their life path soul purpose or even if they're on the right path please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites whatever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support it's so greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today my um my meditation music is third eye chakra activation activation meditation razor sharp intuition harness the wisdom within no shoot you always need that third eye you know to be educated as the rest the rest of us getting educated but today my video is about twin flame 101 uh hayoka's realizing the light that we you are searching for was within you already it, it is because a lot of time we go searching for things you know you come towards my videos or you know you're looking for answers and stuff like that when all the time we need to just sit down meditate get into a quiet place because especially you know if you're stressed out you know I, I mean I've done it a time or two where I'm trying to search for answers like you know is this the right way to go am I on the right road am I doing the right thing am I on the right path am I putting in enough you know, am I giving myself enough credit? I mean, all these things coming to our, you know, coming towards our mind because it's like we, we do what we do. So it's just like going through all these different situations allows you to know that light that you've always been looking for has been instilled in you so long that it's just like, you know, we don't have that, you know, sometimes we need that boost of confidence or just that simple reminder. It's like things that is searching for us is like search, you know, things that we're searching for. Most of the time it's instilled in you already. You're looking for answers sometimes in the wrong places. And, you know, like I tell you, sometimes it's like when we're going through certain situations, instead of taking it to somebody, we should take it to the universe at times because certain things we need to go ahead and place into the universe's hands and allow them to guide us to where we truly need to be. Or it's just like, you know, I love it when y'all, you know, ask me, Rosalind, what should I do about certain situations? I'm so blessed to be able to give y'all those answers that you able to need. Or if I can't find the answer, you know, if I don't have the answers within me, I guide you to where you need to go. And that's a beautiful thing to be able to help people in those ways. It's just like I always tell people, you know, they're like, Rosalind, I'm broken. Rosalind, I'm this. Rosalind, I'm that. And it's just like, I had to quit using that word broken because I really don't feel like anybody is broken. We just have gone through certain things to where it will have you look at your life and not in the greatest light. And you shouldn't be hard on yourself like that. You know, even though you have made mistakes a time or two, but when you can actually come to that forefront and admit these are the flaws that I have in my life and I'm really trying to work on them. That is the most biggest strength. That's that's where step one, where you're on that verge of your journey for you to be healing. You know, you should never be hard on yourself to be able to say, Rosalind, I'm not strong enough or Rosalind, I don't have that enough confidence in myself. Or do you, do you feel like I, uh, yes, I really feel like you do. It's just like you have, it's like a day to day process. It's like something you're not going to get over overnight. You know, like I always try to tell people, you know, don't, you know, when you feel like you're, you know, you're this and that, you're not putting yourself in that positive response and you're like, you know, I know there's a lot of stuff that you have been placed in where people will say you never amount to nothing or, you know, never gave you that encouragement to say, you know, you, you all you have to do is give it what it takes, you know, you should never give up. 
you know, and it's just like I felt that growing up. I didn't have that, you know, uh, positive, you know, um, reinforcement like that. I did at times, but then I didn't. You know, I got it when I was really, really, really young. But at that time when I needed it, I didn't really have it. All I had was negative. Like, you're not going to amount to nothing. You're not going to do this. You're, it was always not. And that's why it was like when my kids start growing up, because I felt that at that time, I tell my kids all the time, you know, they're like, Mom, I want to be this. I'm like, hey, you can be anything you want to be if you apply yourself enough. You know, I, you know, if I can support you on the best way you know how to do stuff, hey, I can do it. And it's like the math problems, hey, you on your own with that. Because it's like y'all be dealing with so many different things. They make me feel like you smarter than a fifth grader. I ain't got time for all that. You know, I say you got to go to, uh, <laughs> you got to go to one of them, you know, whatever that, you know, that teaching, that learning system is. Because I can't help you on that. But anything else, hey, I can, I can work with you. I can really do that. But it's just like when we we're going through all these different things, y'all was eating my trail mix. I so I had a little, you know, felt like I wanted a snack or whatever, and I got my little trail mix. But it's like going through all those different things is truly a blessing. It's like we're, you know, we're in life to learn. You know, being able to instill within ourselves, we are good enough. You know, if there's things that you're heading towards, you can get to them if you just apply yourself and work hard on them. If there's things you know you need to heal from, focus on the things that trigger you and try to find different ways to heal yourself. But never allow yourself to say, I'm broken or, you know, I just feel like, you know, it's going to take forever. You know, it's just like it's, it's not going to be gone overnight when you're going through things. It's like you're all in the learning process. It's just like when things is put into your life and it just depends on you know when universe is trying to constantly test you and if they're like oh you're like oh okay i'm not just gonna allow just anything just to get up under my skin and it's not like you know they're trying to push something negative on you but they want to you know they want to see okay if we place this in our life are they going to stress the heck out or are they going to just say oh I'm, I'm just done i don't want to deal with it i want to deal with it you know it is what it is no it's just like they want to be, you know, a, a teacher is always quiet during the test. So, you you know, it's just like a lot of things that will be placed in your life to test you on different levels. You have to be able to like, aha, I see you try to do that slick one on me. I got it. You know, and you have to be able to learn that. And even when you do make a mistake, it's no big deal. You know, nobody's perfect. So it's just like when you can be able to see what the mistake was like oh, okay yeah you right you know i just didn't see this the way i looked at it you know i you know i jumped you know i jumped ship real quick you know i reacted real quick instead of you know thinking on my toes and you know didn't lash out or whatever and that's a lot of times that we do that but you have to learn from it you really have to learn from it and it's just like a lot of times it's like even with my children because if i feel like i'm about to be in that pissed mode <laughs> and I know I got to be very careful with my words because it's just like I never, you know, it got to that point, you know, when I was beat as a child, I was beat like, you know, stinching cords, whatever my mom could get, you know, she was that old school, like, you know, grab something and start chucking. Don't matter. You know, even my friends could be there and I'd be acting a fool. She chucking at them, too. You know, my mom is like Medea. She didn't care, you know, but it was like with my adopted father, you know, he used his fist. So it's just like, you know, and still my mouth could be more of a, a thrashing for you than, you know, that butt whooping. So it's just like I did not like putting my hands on my children because I know where my, my strength comes from. So it's just like, you know, because I fought my father. I'm like, I be damned. <laughs> you know, I fought men. So it's just like, you know, I can't do that to my kids. I end up breaking something and go to jail. I can't do it. You know, so it's just like my mouth. But now it's just like you have to be careful with your words because those are the things you cannot take back. So it's like all these things that we've been placed in our life that we search for when it comes to positive things, they're in there. You know, they're in there. But, you, you know, you have been through so many dark times, so many abusive situations. Like if it wasn't physical, sexual, mental, verbal, spiritual, you've been broke down in so many different ways. I didn't say you're broken, but you've been broke down. To the point where, you know, you don't feel like you have that courage enough at times. But you do. You really do. You have to really look at yourself in the mirror and say, I am enough. 
I, I am enough. I'm not, this is going to be that year where I'm not going to put myself in situations that is less than what I deserve. I have told myself that it's just like my, my, my spiritual soul sister. She puts out so many positive posts. Like I can place it in my videos, and I told y'all this last week. I she I can place it in my videos, and I be dead. If it's not, I go back on Facebook and just go on the group Namaste. Or I'm on Namaste and Light Workers Empath and you know introverts and stuff like that. I'm on really, really positive platforms when it comes to social media and stuff like that. I love looking at stuff like that. And it's like, as soon as I say something in my video, I'll be dead. She placed the post in there. I said, girl, if we're not aligning, I don't know what is. And it's, it's just so beautiful because that allows me to know that the universe is sending that that vibe right back to me and say, you know what, you're right. You know, you're, you're learning, you're getting it. And it's just a beautiful thing that when I know I learn and it's like a beautiful thing that I can do. And I can shoot out this love and positivity towards other people is such a blessing to me. It's really such a blessing to me. Because it's like we have gone through so much hell and high water. And you know you have that love instilled in yourself that even though you have been served that short end of the stick constantly. But you know what that felt like. That you're willing to want to allow people that are not feeling that love, maybe at that current time, to feel that vibe. To be able to know that you, whatever you are searching for is either searching for you or you either have it within yourself. Like if you're wanting that true love to come towards you, you know, like me right now, it's just like, yeah, I would love to be in a relationship, but I'm still working on myself. You know, if I want to be able to have instill that, you know, God to God universe to bless me with that ultimate true love, I have to learn that love of forgiveness. Because it's just like, you know, you and your better half might get into a situation where they accidentally hurt you. Are you going to be able to, you know, talk it out? Or are you going to still be feeling mad and want to constantly throw it up in their face? You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I ain't talking about like cheating and stuff like that because I don't know. Mm -mm. <laughs> I mean, it's like something else, but it's just like. That's what you have to be able to go through when you like when you're wanting that ultimate true love and you're, you're tired of being by yourself. And it's like, I'm not tired of being by myself because I know I'm still working on myself. So it's just like when I get to that person, I can, you know, I'm bringing something to, to the table and not with it being my old excess baggage that I should have thrown away a long time ago. But I'm working on myself inside and out. You know, um, being able to be that person that can forgive and see love throughout everything. Even though when that person is being hateful, you have to understand why they're being that way. Even though you don't have to be in my life, you have to understand, put your mindset like, dang, they, you know, they've really been hurt in their life for them to be lashing out like that. And I, you know, because before I'm just like, you know, I will box you. You know, and now it's like, you know what, you don't know what that person's been through for them to approach like that. So, you know, that's how I have to look at things in a different, like, you know, looking at things in a different perspective. You know, it, it's just like when people come at me like that, you know, I don't, I just, a, a lot of, you know, a lot of times right now, I don't even respond. I said, you know, I was like, I'm not about to put my energy into this. I'm not, <laughs> you know, it's just like, it's time for you to start looking at things in a more positive light. If you see that it's, you know, constantly throwing negativity at you, don't respond. Just don't respond because you're putting your energy in something that's not even worth putting your energy on. You know, being able to, you know, walk away. A lot of times, you know, people used to tell me, oh, you know, you're a punk if you walk away. No, not actually. You know, because it's just like after you get through with all that, are you still going to feel the same way? I mean, what point are you trying to prove? You know, all the different things you have to think about before actually reacting. But just trust and know whatever you're searching for out there, a lot of times we need to, instead of doing it externally, you have to go internally. It's just like you want that person to make you happy. You want that person to make you feel loved. You have to be that person that can make their own self happy. You have to be that person where you you love yourself at every measure, flaw and all, whatever. So it's just like just you know, just search for within on the things that you're looking for. You can truly find them if you give yourself a chance. I'm gonna give my post notification shout out to Tammy Ahmad, um, Ahmed. I said Ahmad. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about one of my friends. Um, Ahmed 77. 
one of my different friends. Let me put it that way. I don't want to sit up here and say you're not my friend. So I say different friend. Um, Amber G and Donald J. Much love to you. And like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Be well.